Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which we are going to see this ESP version 1 do it board as you can see ESP32 this little board support Wi-Fi connection so you can easily connect it to the internet without any external modules and in this lesson I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this board <clears throat> and why uh, you can use it instead of using Arduino and the capabilities that it has. Now the DoIt ESP32 Dev Kit version 1 is one of the development board created by DoIt to evaluate the ESP32 module. It is based on the ESP32 microcontroller that boasts Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet and low power support all in a single chip as you can see it's very small chip now regarding the bin mapping of this board you can see from here that we have a reset button on the left side and on the right side we have a boot button this is the USB board as you can see for the serial connection with your computer it's very uh, similar to the one used in mobile phones so you can use uh, a mobile data cable now these are the general purpose input output pins and here in the left and right we have the ground and power pins as you can see here we have 3.3 .3 volt ground and a lid and here we have uh, VN and the ground then we have the general purpose input output pins uh, we will explain the pin diagram in more details in the coming lessons but as you can see this is what the IC uh, or the board has and you can see that it has a lot of SMD elements that's why it's very small and pin number two general purpose input output pin number two has a LED attached directly to it so you can see here that we have two LEDs one for power and the other one for pin number two or general purpose input output pin number two why you should use this board it's very similar to arduino we will program it using the very same software that we use to program arduino and this will make your life way much easier it has built in wi-fi so you don't have to attach anything you can directly connect it to the internet that's why it's used in internet of things projects uh, it's widely available and it has a lot of libraries and support online now let's talk about this board properties regarding the main properties of this board it has uh, operating voltage of 3.3 .3 volt the input voltage can be between 7 and 12 volt for optimal performance but it can also work with the 5 volts from your usb port it has uh, digital input output pins 25 digital input output pins and it also has analog input pins that supports analog signals uh, up to six and it has analog output pins up to two digital to analog converters it, it supports SPI, I square C and UAR its flash memory is very large 4 megabytes the SRAM is about 520 kilobytes and the clock speed is 240 megahertz it also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built-in integrated so you don't have to do anything and the power to that board is supplied via the onboard USB micro which is here as you can see this is the uh, main sub power supply for the board uh, or directly via the VN bin we, has, we have a VN bin here I think that you can see it VN this pin can be used to supply power uh, the power source is selected automatically you don't have to, to switch between them using the software now the device can operate on an external supply of 6 to 20 volts if you are using more than 12 volt the voltage regulator may overheat as you can see here we have a voltage regulator on board and in that case that might damage the device so the recommended voltage is 7 to 12 you might risk and use it uh, on a 
power supply above 12 volt but I think that you should stick with the 7 to 12 volt uh, notice now you can or not now you can uh, program it using Arduino IDE software and we are going to explain how you can make your Arduino uh, software recognize this ESP32 board and program it using the very same coding methodology used in Arduino we have explained everything in details in this course and I'm sure that you will enjoy playing around with this board now what I really like about this board and what makes this board a way much better than Arduino is the Wi-Fi connectivity this is why this is an IOT or Internet of Things board uh, if you are working on a project and you want to let's say connect it online and control it using a web page this is the board that you can use it's very cheap and it's very effective in doing that and if you are looking to replace your Arduino then this the board this is the board that you must re replace your Arduino with because it has a lot of uh, properties a lot of built-in modules and it runs out of the box you don't have uh, let's say complex programming you can program it using the very same Arduino code now let me show you how you can connect it as you can see this is a breadboard and usually you have to stick your board your ESP board here on your breadboard and start taking wires from here and to LEDs or buttons or any other thing now if you want to connect it to the power supply you have to bring a mobile USB cable I have one right here as you can see this is a USB cable not a USB-C no the normal type so all what you have to do is simply bring this board and stick as you can see you have to stick it the right way that's it this is how you can simply connect your board to your power supply now in the next lesson we are going to explain the pin out in more detail but as you can see uh, we have d pins d means digital pin uh, the pins that has rx and tx are for serial communication and the ground and power pins are shown as you can see this is the boot button and this is the reset or enable button uh, down here the board doesn't have anything you can buy the board and sometimes they don't attach these breakout headers you have to purchase them alone or you have to purchase them on your own and solder them here on these two and here we have two and two four holes to stick the board using screws that's it it's very similar to Arduino board when it comes to the pins and how to interact and deal with them but it has a lot a way much more functionality this is why I recommend using it and uh, the Wi-Fi functionality is straightforward you can simply open up Arduino examples and open Wi-Fi example and start programming this board but again you have to download the software library that is compatible with this board and attach it to Arduino all of these things are explained in the course so you don't have to worry about anything this is the board that we are going to use you can use any other ESP board same things are apply for all of the boards uh, just a little bit different when it comes to the pin out and the main characteristics like uh, let's say the crystal um, the CPU speed the RAM the amount of available memory uh, the amount of available pins other than that I think that this board is the future of uh, Internet of Things and everyone is now using it so it's a trending thing and I think that you should learn it now in the coming lessons we are going to also explain how to control uh, separated pins digital pins analog pins and how this board has internal touch sensors so you will learn also how to use the internal touch sensors you will learn how to control servo motors how to use PWM signals and other stuff stay tuned thanks for watching this is 
Ashraf from Educational Engineering Team.